recognize that creating these broad partnerships to implement big goals is really uncharted water. Most people like to focus on small things. So we said, what we need to do is to help people have standards, not just for what they want their kids to look like, but for what these partnerships, these community-wide partnerships, the infrastructure to hook these things together, what that needs to look like, mm -hmm. then have solutions to help them fi fix the weak spots once they identify where their partnerships really aren't operating on you know, all cylinders, and then have ways to measure success. Mm -hmm. And if we refer back to the three gears, what we know is that if a community just measures how well its kids are doing, it's hard for them to stay on track. Because it can take 8, 10, 12 years to move a number like the dropout rate. But if they can link that number to things that they're doing to change conditions for kids in their schools, their communities, their families, they can change those conditions faster and track progress. And if they can link that all the way back to the real things you're doing as leaders, and by leaders we mean everybody, to change policies, to change practices, to change resources, to increase demand, to use data, to align activities and efforts. They can do those three things. They're able to stay the course longer and they're able to get more impact. So for us, the way to really help communities that have already started partnerships get collective impact is to bring in standards for what good looks like, for building that civic infrastructure, create solutions to help them improve their capacity and then bring them ways to measure success.